purpose of this brief video demonstration is to show how to set a Bermad Model 43Q pressure relief valve in the field. For the purpose of this demonstration, we have a Bermad 2-inch angled pattern 400 series valve with a PC3Q bronze pilot and the spring range is adjustable from 0 to 16 bar. We have water travelling through this pipe from left to right. The pump is supplying water in this direction and we're able to throttle the pump or increase the pressure by using this isolating valve. And we also have the butterfly valve isolating water pressure from the relief valve. The first thing that we do is that we open up the inlet ball valve and what this does is applies water pressure to the pilot itself. We keep the outlet ball valve closed. The purpose of this ball valve is if it remains closed, it keeps the valve closed because it cannot vent the water from the cover of the valve. The next thing we do is we turn the adjustment bolt on the pilot many turns in clockwise. So we're increasing the set point of the pressure relief valve. The next thing we do, and we do this slowly and carefully, is we open up the inlet butterfly valve to apply water pressure to the valve itself. Now it's quite normal, depending on the valve size in this instance, that the water will vent out through the valve until such time the water has had the opportunity to fill the control chamber and make the valve closed. So when there's no water running out through the valve, the next thing we do is slowly open the downstream ball valve. And we can see here at 200 kPa that the valve is remaining closed. So with a half inch spanner on the adjustment bolt, we want to start turning this anti-clockwise slowly until we see a small dribble of water coming out through the valve itself. And as I continue to turn this bolt slowly, we're going to see very shortly a small dribble of water starting to come out through the valve. There we go. So what I want to do now is slowly turn the bolt clockwise until the water stops venting. Now here we can see that the pilot has stopped a little bit more and it stopped venting. Now one rotation of this adjustment bolt is approximately 23 meters or 2.3 bar. So because we can't achieve the valve, we know that if we turn this adjustment bolt clockwise approximately just under half a rotation, we're going to be set at approximately 300 kPa. Now it's not highly accurate, but it's the first way to get it within a, a, a close range. The second way of setting the pressure reducing valve is, in many instances, you can actually close a downstream valve if there's one available in order to actually increase the pressure beyond its normal operating point up to 300 kPa. So again, if we started with the valve and we went through the identical procedure as we did before and we had the adjustment bolt wound in clockwise, here with the butterfly valve, as I partially start to shut this valve, the system pressure will run a little bit higher as I'm running the pump back on the curve. And if you look at the gauge now, you'll see the pressure is going to rise until I achieve 300 kPa. So this is the relief set point that we actually want the valve to relieve at. So now, slowly if I turn the adjustment bolt anti-clockwise, I do this until such time that the water just starts to dribble out through the valve. And there we can see the water just starting to dribble out through the valve. This is very, very close to the set point. So again, if I increase the pressure in the, in the system by running the pump back on the curve, you'll see the flow getting greater and greater as I increase the pressure. When I reduce the water pressure, the valve should close. And here we can see the gauge reducing down to 200 kPa and the valve is drip tight closed. So that's the two methods that we use to set the pressure relief valve. Once we, we are comfortable with the set point, we tighten the lock nut 
and the valve is now set. If you require any operation maintenance manuals, you can go to our website at bermad.com.au or if you'd like to look at some other associated animations and videos, you can go to the Bermad YouTube channel. Thank you for watching.